All right, what I have assembled here on the table, all these products you see here were given to me uh, by, the, by, by sponsors, Smith & Wesson, Hornady, Magnaport. Uh, this is what I'm the most familiar with. There's other great products out there. This is what I have today to show you. So I'll give you an idea. I have uh, new uh, carry grade ammunition. And what you want to realize, ammunition has evolved, the bullet technology has evolved, but also the actual propellant technology is greatly advanced than what it was 10, 15 years ago. So I want to see if how, how well that works against, I've made up some reloads here with probably the most flashy powder I could put in each of these calibers, and we're going to shoot them compared to carry ammunition or duty ammunition and see if I can respond to the target without any uh, disturbance with the flash of the porting of the slide. So a lot of the shooting schools you go to, they, they're really down on ported guns. I like ported guns. If I go to a competition with a ported gun like this, they would automatically put me in the open division because it enhances my performance that much. So if I'm a carrier gun, I want to try to enhance my performance also. I want to cheat as much as I can. So I call it a cheater gun. So maybe it's going to be overwhelming at night, maybe it won't. So we're going to have a little show and tell and we're going to learn together. So camera doesn't lie. I wonder you guys go out and do something. <laughs> Need trigger therapy. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. So we'll get some finger therapy. Here we go. My finger's feeling better just looking at it. Come on, finger. Don't fail me now, brother. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to start off here with a 9mm, and this is my competition gun. It's quad ported. It has four ports in it, and I've got some really flashy 9mm ammo here that I tried to come up with to make this happen. And we do have a lot of mosquitoes out tonight. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put a few rounds. I got six rounds of my reloads here. Woo! Yeah. Let's just shoot that piece of steel on the left. See how much muzzle flash we have or we don't have with my reloads. Here we go. Be honest with you guys, I, it didn't distract me at all, but uh, what can you say? Let's try some uh, actual carry ammunition. And what we have for that, and this is what I use. This is my carry ammo, by the way. So it's time to rotate it out of the gun anyway. And that's the, uh, the Hornady Flex Tip. It's a 135 plus P round. Uh, pretty trick ammo. So let's go ahead and burn a, a mag of this and see if, what flash signature we have or don't have. I've actually never shot it at night, so it's going to be a learning curve. Let's go ahead and shoot that same target and watch the, watch the porting on the top and the end of the barrel and see what kind of signature we might have here. Here we go. And you can see there's hardly any flash. Huge advancement in propellant, bullet technology. That's a nine mil round. That's my open ported gun. Pretty trick, wasn't it? So we're learning, we're learning together. Here we go. Let's take it to the next level. We've got a 10 millimeter Smith. I set it off the Magna port. I put a quad port on it. These are the biggest ports they put in a handgun. I had them put four in it. So, I've got some of my reloads here, and we got six rounds, and this is probably the flashiest propellant I could come up with. So, I'm going to shoot this into the berm. It's a little bit too close to shoot this powerful ammunition on steel, but just watch the end of the muzzle here. Here we go. Now, even as bright as that was, I'm still pretty effective. I know what you said. I wasn't shooting the target. So let's do it again. I'm going to shoot some steel. I've got three pieces of steel. Let's put, uh, let's put six rounds in there. I'll give them each two rounds and see how long it might take for me to do that. And that's about the flashiest combination bullet and powder I could come up with for that, uh, for that pistol. Let's shoot these C-zones left to right, two on each. You ready? Here we go. There you go, boy. I was getting some right there. So let's swap it over to the latest technology, Hornady Flex Tip. It's their 175 grain, 10 millimeter round. Pretty trick. Let's go ahead and burn five of them and see what that might look like. 
I haven't shot this at night either, so. All right. Here we go. But you might notice how well that magnet port was working on that full caliber 10 millimeter. That was a 175 doing about 12, a little over 1,200 feet a second out of a ported barrel. So let's shoot this Hornady round and see what it might look like. Here we go. Just a whisper. Big technology change, guys. Propellant choices, everything in a handgun. So we have a, a non-ported 9 millimeter here. Just the M&P. I'm going to shoot some of these reloads here with the uh, more flashy propellant. All right. Let's go ahead and crank a few out. This is a standard pistol with what I call a pretty flashy propellant bullet combination. Here we go. What do you think? That much? I know. Do better. Okay, let's get some better. <laughs> So I've got some Hornady uh, American Gunner. Never shot it at night before. It's 115 grain. Let's see what it what it's going to do through a, a standard non-ported barrel. All right, here we go. Hornady ammo, 115 non-ported 9 mil. Here we go. Ooh, pretty nice. Pretty nice but you want more, always more. All right, this is another one of my carry guns. It's an M&P 9C. It's also magnaported, has a set of high-vis tritium fiber optic sights. They're also one of my sponsors. I've uh, been with them a long time. I've got some of the flashy ammunition here. I've got night sights and a laser. This is actually one of my, uh, my everyday guns. So let's go ahead and shoot an everyday gun. Let's see how many rounds we got in it. We got six. Let's go ahead and shoot that steel target with this bad ammunition choice. Here we go. Yeah. Nothing to it, brother. All right. Let's, let's hop that up a little bit. Put some good stuff in it. Some 135 plus P rounds, if I got any left here. All right. That's... Let's get one more. Let's get six of them. Let me see if I can find that other one. Gotta have one more. One more. Well, I got five. I got five left. So let's go ahead and do it with five rounds. This again is the 135 plus P flex tip. I really like this, this cartridge and gun combination. So there again, it's the, it's the new generation ammo. Let's go ahead and shoot some multiple targets here. Let's go one, two, three, one on each. You ready? Let's do it. Hmm, pretty easy. Let's finish it off, got two left. All right. So there you have it. 44 Magnum also, this is the model 69 Smith & Wesson. It's got quad reporting on it. It's one of my hunting guns. Let me light the dot up here and uh, this is hunting ammunition, so I have no idea what it's going to do in low light. So let's go ahead and fire one, just to get an idea of what, we, what it might look like. Here we go. That's actually pretty, uh, pretty subtle. Let's do another one. Pretty trick, isn't it? So, woo! So there you have it, guys. A bit of a learning curve for both of us. Uh, I want to cheat as much as I can, so I kind of like 40 guns. What do you think? Get some.